Hey, it's Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Today is the 26th, and uh, I wanted to uh, brief you on the hearing that we had today. It was at 1 o'clock up at Misaki County Courthouse. I just want to say thanks to everybody for showing up. We had a, a full courtroom, and, uh, you know, people drove a lot of miles to get there. That was the second time they had to do that. Um, first things first, I, I got to get this off my chest because it's so uh, difficult. <clears throat> I saw something today that I don't think I'll ever forget as long as I live. Um, we are engaged in this process to, uh, you know, it's an exercise in representative republic or democracy. And uh, we had a dispute with our state, something that they said and uh, actions that they wanted to take against us. So we took it to a court of law. And um, I brought my children. You know, a lot of you know I have eight children, and uh, some of my older kids have been be, have grown quite interested in this uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, as you can imagine, things around our place haven't been quite normal. Um, <clears throat> and this is what I had encountered, and, and this disturbed me, because I talk to my children about duty, about honor, and about country a lot. Um, I served in the military, and I'm proud of it. And lately I've been talking to them about the Constitution and how it protects us and how without the Constitution we'd be in really tough shape. But this is what I saw today. Um, walked into the courtroom and uh, the attorney for the Attorney General's office <clears throat> representing the Department of Natural Resources uh, was standing at his table talking with my attorney and she motioned me over to speak with him, you know, to introduce because I'd never met the dude. This is this is Harry Martin we're talking about here. I've never met him. <clears throat> and I went over, I extended my hand, and he uh, kind of said, oh, so you're the, the guy that's been making fun of my name on the Internet, and you don't have the guts to say it to my face, and you're making fun of my grandfather's name and all that stuff. So he wasn't uh, did not shake my hand by any means, and my lawyer just motioned me away. So I went and sat down at my seat. Then what happened was really bothersome and I think I, I think something needs to happen here because of this okay um, we were delayed a little bit because our court reporter was a little went to the wrong court it was a, a mistake no big deal so we were delayed maybe 10 minutes or so and uh, one of the older gentlemen that had come to see the proceedings suggested that we recite the Pledge of Allegiance and uh, everyone in the courtroom stood up and recited the Pledge of Allegiance with the exception of one person, and that was Harry Martin. And everybody watched that with disbelief that the, the, the person that was there to represent uh, the Attorney General's office did not stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. And when we sat down, one of the older men um, very respectfully said to him, why didn't you stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? And Harry turned around and snarled at this man. And we have all of this on videotape, and it will be up, you know, as soon as we can get it rendered down, our, our video guy is working on it. And I did watch it, too, and it's really explicit. But he snarled at this man, are you questioning my patriotism? And the guy said, I am. And then Harry stood up, turned to the crowd, standing up, and did this. All right, you guys got a problem with me? Let's hear it. You're calling my office and disparaging my, my uh, reputation. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. And some of the, uh, the older gents uh, piped right up and wanted to know uh, why he couldn't make it last week. And he said, because the judge told me to turn around and go home. And that's what he said. The judge called him on his cell phone and told him to go home. That is what he said. And um, older feller said, which, which way did you come? And Harry kind of started to tell him. And the old guy, the guy with his wife, uh, said, gee, you know, I came up that way and I didn't have any problem. And Harry snapped at this guy and he said, I don't care which way you came. Uh, it was really a show. And then after the court was over, um, there was a kind of a cloud hanging over because what the judge had said and uh, and Harry as he was walking past our table said what do you think of your court now and he walked out kind of whistling a happy tune 
it was really something to see. Um, how do you tell your children, you know, that we have a good system and uh, we should believe in duty, honor, and country after something like that? I was very disappointed, very disappointed that that man acted so unprofessionally. Okay, that's, uh, that's that. And that needs to be dealt with, I believe. Uh, there's many, many people that were in the courtroom. There was over 100. And, uh, you know, they write. And I would encourage you folks to speak your mind to that guy's boss. Because I have never seen a man bring discredit down on his organization worse than that. I've never seen anything like that. It was truly a sight to behold. And we will post that so everybody can see it. I hate to do that, but, you know, this is a part of accountability. All right, here's what happened in the court case. Um, the DNR, you know, we get up to within uh, 12 or 13 days of our trial, and they drop their countersuit against us. And in their motion, they wanted to compel the judge to dismiss our case against them. And uh, there's a lot to it. Um, but because they dropped their case and they stated on the record they will not persecute bakers for any pigs, uh, pig violations, and the judge made them say it twice and, say, and state that it was... It was uh, unprejudiced, and unprejudiced, you know, they can't say unless, you know. Um, so they said, uh, the, the DNR's position is they are not going to persecute us. Now, they have for the last 30 months, or 31 months, whatever it is, but now, 10 days or 12 days before trial, they say, oh, no problem, your pigs are okay. And uh, our lawyer said, well, wait a minute, you know, we have Russian hybrids here, uh, and he and Harry said, yeah, we know, we know, no problem, your pigs are fine. And she said, well, you know, we have pigs with straight tails and curly tails. And he says, yes, I know, but uh, your pigs are fine. So the, it's not like the judge was with them. I could see the pain in his face when he had to make this ruling, and I believe his ruling was probably uh, by the law correct. Probably. Uh, my, my lawyer says it, it was. And it pained her to say that too. But he said that there is no conflict because you do not have a problem with the DNR right now because they are stating right here they will not persecute you. I still have a problem with it because I didn't do this just for my own hide. You know, there's a public here that still has to deal with the declaratory ruling. So basically, what we're looking at right now is. Any pig with a straight tail or a curly tail is an illegal pig, except on my farm, according to the DNR. That is where it landed. And I am not happy about this. Um, we went to the court to demand that uh, the DNR come into uh, a, a court of law and explain the declaratory ruling in all its foolishness. And it looks at this point, like, we will not get our day in court. I'm very disappointed, um, but I am not giving up on the system just because we have people like Harry Martin and his bosses, probably, that are doing this type of thing. That is not America, and that is not who we are as a people. So for all of you people that hear my voice and uh, um, believe in our country and believe in our way of life, I expect you to stand up now and I expect you to do something. I'm not exactly sure what. We'll be coming to you again with another video, but prepare. Prepare yourself. Um, there is the Court of Appeals, so we can take it out of Judge Fagerman's court and we can go to the, the Court of Appeals and sue for damages. I mean, that's always there. And that's good for us. That's good for us, all right? Um, but doesn't do anything for the public. And as I've said many times, this is a constitutional issue. Um, the Fifth Amendment clearly protects our life, our liberty, and our possessions. Um, and if the government, the DNR, wants to take those away from us, they have to do that via due process of law, and they have not done that. And then in a backhanded stroke, what they've done 
is given me what they call a carve out and they've done that for several others in the past um, because they don't want me they want me shut up they want my my voice shut up and uh, I'm afraid that that is the case here uh, in a court of law I will not get my do my day in court and I'm sorry but they're not shutting you up and if you want to do something you ought to look into this get smart about it and don't give up never ever give up because there's nothing there's no better form of government on the face of this planet I can I can assure you of that but if you let these people take over um, you will have a rough time and as as we have had they have destroyed uh, a business they've destroyed a family farm they haven't touched my family all right my family is tighter than ever and we will continue and uh, I will continue to protect them um, this is one of those instances where we see who's made of what and uh, let's let's stay tuned and get ready to go back to work okay it's Mark from Baker Screen Acres Acres yeah chin up